You have to embrace technology. It's going to empower you and it's going to be the thing that takes you to the world. The biggest thing that's going to set apart those who will benefit most from technology is curiosity. Mum and Dad tell me that I used to pull a, uh, the washing machine apart to see how it worked. You know, that, that's the, the tinkerer, trying to figure out what the problem is, then solve it. At the family gatherings, we would go landing. Multiple computers are networked up and you're playing games against each other. When I started, uh, my idea was to build a game to check children's hearing. And that's what we've done. I've taken something that's been something that's just fun and study from home and now I'm working in the IT industry. That wasn't something that was planned at all. Talking to some people in the industry, I found out that if I really wanted to do this, then I actually could as a career. I have a small company, but I can take my product to a global audience. There's a lot of scope for you to be bold, to push forward, to be brave. There are so many people in the tech industry who really want you to be a part of it. And diversity tends to produce great outcomes, great solutions to problems. We come from a range of different backgrounds. Some of them are very good visual designers. Some are really good at research. I'm from a software engineering background. So together we can try and combine our skills and learn from each other. And technology, because it's affecting us all, gives all of us opportunities. I do like to change and do new things, and, and that's what I love about the IT industry. The job that you're going to be doing in 10 or 15 years' time doesn't exist right now. It's pretty much if you can imagine it, you can make that job happen. Take your idea and run with it. Jump in. You, you, you have to start. Technology will empower the ideas that will change the world.